Hello. Did you get your Arc News Winter Edition? Mine arrived yesterday. And there is something amazing in this edition of Arc News. And in fact, excuse me, I'm going to read it to you. It's that amazing. And it's what I'm going to cover in this video. It's Dak Jack Dangerman's in the inside page. Um, his warm regards and uh, welcome to the magazine. He says in the first paragraph, I'm excited to share with you Esri's renewed emphasis on our brand, its meaning and its promise. We have captured our long history, our values and our mission in a, in a new tagline, the science of wear, which we feel represents Esri's essence. Jump down to the second from last paragraph. The science of wear is our brand. That's huge. That is huge. And let me tell you why. I'm wearing a t-shirt that Ezra gave me. I have a love-hate relationship with this t-shirt. Read it. Map Man. Now, we wrote a blog post last year which was entitled Stop Calling Me The Mapping Guy. And it was the, one of the most popular blog posts that I wrote. And it received the most number of comments from, from any blog post we've written. 99.9% .9 were in very loud support of that statement. And I sometimes use an analogy when it comes to maps, because we use maps all the time to describe what we do with GIS. Always. It's map this, map that, map the other. When you think about someone that's got an MBA, Someone's gone to university, they've paid all that money and they've got an MBA. They are trained, trained to understand the tools to make a business better. That's their job when they come out of, of, with their MBAs and that's what they do. Many C-level executives have got MBAs. What if I described you as a charting guy or a charting man? Would you be insulted? Would you look at it and go, I am far more than that? Why do we as GIS people look at the world and describe ourselves, allow ourselves to be described as mapping people. We shouldn't. We shouldn't be that. So I'm amazed by Jack's uh, little editorial there on a couple of levels. The first level is he's talking about where. Now we've been talking about where for a year or more now. If you go to our front page, go to webmapsolutions.com, look at our front page. Where is emblazoned on the front page. And we wrote a blog post, multiple blog posts using the terminology where, and we won't run, won't run relatively recently called it starting, it starts with where or start with where. And we just really go out, out of our way to talk about the where notion. It's not about location. People don't talk about location. When I ask my wife about location, she thinks of someone's address, which is, which is fine, but we're really answering where questions. Everyone has a where question. Where is that pipeline I need to dig up? Where should we be um, marketing uh, our product to? Uh, where are our customers? Uh, on and on and on. GIS and geography is about the where. So I'm intrigued that Esri have changed their brand or, or they've now gone with this science of, of where as a brand. I have a suspicion um, that the senior management at Esri are actually reading our blog which, and, uh, and monitoring some of the stuff that we're doing, which is great, which is, which is just fine. And you're welcome if that's uh, where you got the notion from. You may not have done this okay if you didn't, but it's kind of interesting. That's been our focal point for a, for a long time. But I think as, as Esri, they're moving away from this map notion. That's how I'm taking this. They're moving more to the, the, the question question is where everything is is really around the where question and uh, I'm, I'm I'm really pleased to see that that is the new branding that Esri have introduced um, and I hope it moves us away from um, this too much emphasis on 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 the map so let me do something let me change this t-shirt how about it's the where man Thanks very much.